Okay, uh, today we're going to make an interactive InDesign document. Uh, first thing we're going to do is, well, let's see, we're going to make an interactive PDF. So it's going to look like this. Here we go. So here's my PDF, so that when you click on a button, it goes to uh, a certain article. Say, you know, pretend this is an electronic magazine. And when you put on, click on separate buttons, it goes to a different article with a different image. All right, let's get rid of that. So uh, we're going to do it two ways. First way we're going to do it is for an interactive PDF. So when we make these buttons, uh, there's only certain options we have depending on what our final uh, outcome is going to be. All right, so let's do the interactive uh, PDF first. So in order to do that, uh, we have to make buttons out of everything, pretty much. Uh, I have these little articles here along with an image. So this is just an image and some text just grouped together. So we have to make buttons out of these. So let's do these articles uh, first. I'm going to select them all. We can do them all in one shot. Partially anyway. Let's go to Buttons and Forms. Click the button down here to convert to buttons. There we go. Now we'll, we'll select them individually and give them a different name. Okay, here we go. So this one, we're going to be very easy. We're going to call this, the button name is uh, something. Now, it's not going to have any action. The important thing that we have to check is that we check this little box here that says hidden until triggered. So we'll click on that. So this will be hidden until something is triggered. Okay, now let's do the other ones. Let's do this one. This is going to be something else. Something else. And same thing, check this box. Let's do the last one. Uh, this one is going to be something something else again. Yeah, I'll just call it something again, I guess. Something again. And again, check that box. Okay, let's get rid of that for a second. And now uh, we can put them one on top of one another. So we can do our buttons without arranging them so we could see what we're doing. So let's use our uh, alignment tool here that way. And then I'm going to align the tops of things. Let's move the whole bunch over here. Okay, now we're going to make buttons out of these buttons here. Uh, again, we could start off, we could do them all in one shot. Uh, let's go to buttons and forms. Click to convert to button, button, and now we can do them one at a time. So this button, uh, we're going to name uh, number one. There we go. Now, uh, what actions do we want it to do? So we're going to tell it to show or hide other buttons. So under actions, I'm going to go over here. Uh, now also while we're here, take a look. Here's the problem we run into sometimes. This group of actions, these can be used pretty much for almost any kind of output. Down here, these are more specialized. So this is for Flash or EPUB, or I believe also also publishing for an iPad will also be okay. Down on the bottom, these are PDF only. So we can't use any of these guys. So we can't tell it to go to a certain state or something like that. We have to sort of do it in a roundabout way by telling it to show or hide other buttons and forms. So let's click on show slash hide buttons. And now we can tell it what we want it to show or hide. Now the thing is, see these here? These are just showing a button 10, 11, and 12 because we haven't made buttons yet. So maybe we should do that first. Let's click off here and then we'll do the actions. So this one here, click on that one. This one's going to be called two, <laughs> not very imaginative. And let's click away. This one here, we'll call this one three. 
click over here and now we'll go back we'll start all over again here's number one you see now we have some you know the correct names for things so when you click on this button what I want to be showing I want to be showing a uh, something so I can select it and I can click the eyeball down on the bottom here or I can just keep clicking here until the eyeball shows up something else I don't want to see that so this one I want the eyeball with the line through it now these these are these correspond to these buttons here these I don't want to do anything so I'll leave them with the X there this one here uh, we don't want to see when we click the number one button so we have the eyeball with the line through it then we have to do the same thing for these other buttons okay so this one here show hide buttons and forms this one we don't want to see that uh, we do want to see something else so this gets oops this gets the eyeball these are unchanged and this one is hidden let's do the last one actions show hide buttons and now uh what do we want oh uh, we don't want to see this one uh we don't want to see this one we do want to see this one all right so that should be okay uh let's give it a little test right over here we can click on the bottom of the buttons panel there's a little preview spread uh click on that Now you might not see any, oh here we go, it's exporting the HTML. Sometimes you hit, have to hit the play button. So now when I click these buttons, the appropriate article appears. Now one other modification we can make, uh, let's say we want something to appear here initially. Say we want the number one article to be there, we can make a small change. Uh, let's close this. Uh, let's go to this button here, this first one. And now this one, let's let's say, let's uncheck hidden until triggered. And let's see what happens to us. Let's hit the preview again. Here it comes. So this is showing initially, but this should still hide when we hit the other buttons. Yeah, so the other one gets hidden. And there you go. And then when you go back to number one, it goes back to number one. So this is how we can have an initial uh, view here. So that's what we have to do when we create an uh, interactive PDF. Uh, actually, the best way to check it also is to actually export the PDF. Okay, let's export it so we can test it out to be sure. File, export. Has a name. We want Adobe PDF Interactive. Click Save. Yeah, we'll replace it. It's okay. Uh, I'm only going to do page one because we haven't done page two. Uh, I'm going to leave all these defaults here. Open it full screen. Ah, that's okay. Um, everything else is all right. Let's say okay. So this should go very fast. It's going to pop up in one second. Here we go, full screen mode. Oh, I'll say no for now. And let's test our PDF. Here we go. Okay, so it looks good. We can close that. So sometimes you may have problems if you do try to open this in a different application. Now there's many applications that can open PDF files. Um, some of them some features work some other ones other features don't work so i would recommend uh, you stick with adobe reader and maybe put a note to your viewers you know uh best viewed with adobe reader i would say all right so now uh let's do this a different way let's say we're creating uh the same kind of thing only this is going to be used for um maybe a flash file 
or going to be published to um, for an iPad or something like that. We'll do this slightly differently. We're going to create a multi-state object this time. So let's do that. So now, uh, it's a very similar procedure, actually. Uh, here's all my articles here. Now, I did stack them in the order that I want them to appear. This is going to make our life a little bit easier. Let's select these guys. Uh, now, this one, we do have to align them first. So align that way, and then I'll align the tops and put it into position. And now we're going to make a multi-state object. So I'm using my digital publishing workspace. Here's my object states panel. Let me click on that. We're going to create a new object state. Come to the bottom, convert to multi-state object. Uh, let's give it a name. So I guess I'll just call it articles. Articles. Okay, now here's the different states. State 1, State 2, State 3. Now, if you're doing something more complicated, you might want to rename these something easier for you to, um, to find later. But in this case, uh, I don't think we have to do that right now. And now we're going to create buttons to take us to certain states of this multi-state object. So let's make buttons out of these guys again. Buttons and forms. That made them buttons. And now let's go individually and make them uh, individual buttons. So let's call this one, we'll name it slightly different. Uh, maybe I'll call it one uh, MS for multi-states, I guess. What do we want it to do? Actions go to a specific state. So go to state. Not New Jersey, uh, one of the ones that we made. So we'll say uh, state, and then state one is there by default. And we'll do the same thing for these. This one we'll call 2MS, I guess. 2MS. And go to state. Now this one we want it to go to state number two. Oops, come on. And we'll see a thumbnail too. So that helps you out a little bit. And number three. We'll call this three MS. Go to state. Oops, come on. Three. And we also have a hidden until triggered option too, but we're not going to use that. All right, now let's test it out. Uh, we could test it out right over here. Also, you can also go to your menu too if you want to find it. You can go to Window, Window Interactive, and you do have EPUB Interactivity Preview. Uh, you also have a Flash Preview, but this one seems to be the one that Adobe is using by default. Uh, so let's check that one. Because now, you know, we have a new thing called interact, it's called a fixed state, fixed layout, EPUB, sorry. Okay, so this is page two, that's what we want. And as we click the buttons, you see it goes to a different state. Now, I believe our page one will also work. So I'm clicking this to go to do the whole document. You may have to click the play button for it to make the previews. So here's page one. This is what we did with the show and the hide. So this will work in either one. Uh, the other one, this one will only work in, um, this one will only work in flash files in HTML5 or uh, publishing for an iPad. <clears throat> So that's the two differences. So basically, we did the same thing twice. And we can, also, we can also test this out also. We can do a file, export. This time, we'll just do page two. Uh, we'll do a flash. Save. 
Uh, we don't want all pages. We only want paste. Oh, you know what? Let's do all. This way I can show you it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, the only thing is I don't know how we're going to get the page to. All right, so let's just do range. Two. Uh, generate HTML file. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Here it comes. This is opening in a browser. So there you go. All right, so that's about it. So you can see the second method with the multi-state objects, I believe, is a little bit easier. But if you're going to use an interact, create an interactive PDF file, uh, then your only choice is the first method. So that's about it. Hope this helps, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.